up, compassionate people? Welcome to Vegan News. So, can cats be vegan? As we all know, there are, it's a, it's a huge debate in the vegan community. And it's something that always starts an argument, so much so that it's actually a banned topic in many groups. Uh, there are vegan cats and dogs groups on Facebook, too, that I know of that are actually pretty good and well-maintained. Uh, I will actually link them in the description. But the amount of scientific research there is to make one comfortable with putting their cat on a plant-based diet just is not there, at least as far as I'm comfortable with. It's something I've looked into for a very long time, and then once everything happened with Sonia Say and the Fox, <laughs> things really started to turn in my head, and I looked into it more and more, and I contacted through the advice of a friend, Eric Weissman. He owns and operates Evolution Pet Food. They make plant-based dog and cat food and treats and things like that. Boba's actually chasing his tail right now. Yeah, get that tail. Get that son of a bitch. Come on, get him. Get your tail. No, you done? You done? Can I finish filming? I can? I can go. Can I go back? Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, what I decided to do was well, all of our pets are now, all three cats and our dog, and dogs have no problem being a. Boba, stop. Dogs have no. Dogs are omnivores naturally, so they have no problem being on a plant-based diet as long as it's balanced and all that kind of thing. What I have in my hands here is actually a set of tests. I went and spent the time and the money and uh, Evolution Pet Food, Eric Weissman, sent me enough food to get Boba through for a while and we're using it to feed our other pets as well. And Boba's basically gonna be uh, the canary in the coal mine test subject kind of thing. Uh, it's not something I'm proud of. It's not something I really want to do. It really bothered me a lot to take him there and have it done. But my vet is really good, Larkin Veterinary. Awesome people. I'll put a link to their Instagram where they share pictures of their cats. And maybe if they have a Facebook, I'll look into that too. But what I did was I got a full blood panel on Boba. And I'll put that up on the screen right now so you can actually see it. And you can look through all the different pages, uh, all the different things. Absolutely everything was gone through and all of his levels are uh, normal and he's perfectly healthy and everything's great. Uh, uh, along with that test, it came with a urine test as well, which also came back perfectly normal. Uh, the only thing was is the urine was a little cloudy, but that was probably more because the litter box was a little dirty that I used to do it in originally. But everything was great. And all this is to get a baseline. So that there are no things that are going to be a surprise. Now, he's been on the plant-based diet for a little bit now. The tests are here, ready to go. I'm also 100% comfortable emailing anybody a more high resolution copy of, of these things. But what I wanted to do was establish a scientific baseline for this to either prove or disprove whether or not this works. Now. I'm neutral in this. I want it to work, but I'm not against it, and I'm not for it, if that makes sense. I, I, I'm all about the scientific method, and I want to know whether or not this is something we can prove as a healthy and safe alternative for cats to be placed on. It contains all the synthetic taurine they need, amino acids, and things like this. Lots of people have had good experiences with Evolution Pet Food that I've spoken to online, but again, that isn't scientific data, that isn't blood tests, that isn't urine tests. And I felt it was important, and I want to stop contributing, as I'm sure many of you do, to the animal ag industry any way I can, even if it is the scraps left over from the animal ag industry for people. Boba loves the food. He also gave us some samples of the wet food. It comes packed in the can. It's kind of like a uh, vitamin, mineral, bean, rice kind of thing mixed together. Uh, it's, I actually added some warm water to it for the cats. The dog loves it too, but then again, she eats cat poop. <laughs> <laughs> but the cats love it. They all love it. Uh, our cat Penny, she actually is throwing up less than she was before. She's always had a problem with vomiting. Uh, the vet thought it was allergies, uh, I believe, previously. Uh, we've never been able to get her perfectly there. She always has like hairball issues and stuff like that. That's beside the point. So in this video, you're going to get a discount code for 25% off of 
of Evolution Pet Food. And I'm going to put it on the screen right now. You can use that with the code only calling in, no online orders. He will only do it by phone. So you can find the phone number uh, in the description and you can use this discount code to get that. Now, I'm not being paid for this, but he did give us the food to try to do this. And it's beneficial to everybody. And I'm really excited for how this is gonna turn out. Now, three months from now, I'm gonna try and make it three months. Uh, I might wait just slightly longer. I might go to like six months, but I think I'm gonna do it in three. I'm still thinking that over, but I think in three months, I wanna check back in on Boba's blood work and his urine analysis again, see where it's at, and hopefully all the levels look as good, if not better than they were. And as long as that trend continues, then we'll move to like every six months or every five months or four months or something like that. We'll, we'll keep increasing the amount. And as long as this continues to work, he'll be on this along with the other cats for the rest of their lives. So that's everything guys. And if you want to follow along in this journey and you want your cats to not contribute, giving money to the animal ag industry, you can do this. You can use that discount code and get 25% is a pretty decent discount. The wet food, they like it better than the other stuff that uh, we were using the crappy stuff, the friskies from a can kind of stuff, they actually like it better. So I was really surprised by that. You can also get, you can sprinkle neutral in their food, uh, nutritional yeast for the newer vegans. And that also will help them. Check the description for the phone number, write down the discount code. If you didn't get it written down, just check the description. I'll throw it in there too. Remember, you can only get the discount if you call over the phone, not online through the web store. And tell them Vegan News sent you, tell them I sent you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for living with compassion and thank you everyone who is trying their best to get their companion animals in line with their ethics too. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Later. What does the frog say? Yes, it does it.